Why are dashboards in modern cars all screens now, and how do they get installed in the first place? It starts with a 10.25-inch LCD screen, but instead of using screws on both sides like before, it's now held in place with snap-in clips. Next, they add the air vents. These can open and close, and they're also clipped in. Then two self-tapping screws go in underneath the display. To keep it looking clean, a piano black trim piece gets added next to connect everything together. Now this next part might look like a screen, but it is not. Even though it has wires plugged in, it is really just there to light up some designs at night and give the cabin a little extra vibe. They secure it with one screw. Then comes the top dust shield, or let's call it what it is, a cover to hide the rough edges. It has to line up perfectly with the nearby parts. Since this is a base model, the display strip they installed does not include any ambient lighting. But it still has to meet the same fitment standards. Next up is the steering column cover. Extra care goes into making sure it lines up cleanly where it meets the rest of the trim. If not, parts might need replacing. Then another cover goes above the screen. Yep, another one to hide gaps and dust. Building a car is no joke, there are just so many little things to get right. Last, they pop in a 15-inch center touchscreen. This one controls all kinds of stuff, air conditioning, navigation, vehicle settings, you name it. No wonder physical buttons are almost gone now. Honestly, that dust shield above seems pointless since another one goes right on top of it. What do you think? In the end, it is all about looking high-tech.